Hello, hello. Sorry about that, guys. Is everybody in? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, everybody. Hey. Good evening. Good evening. Hello, everybody. I don't know what you guys remember. I don't know if you guys ever saw the the issue that it was giving, which it said that there was another meeting already going on and that I had to finish that one or that you have to finish that one to enter the next one. That's the same message I got today and it wouldn't let me come in. How's everybody doing? All right, all right, nice, nice to hear that. Nice to hear that. Let me see here. Josue, hello, hello, Josue. Ricardo, Jorge, my friend, Ninive, Diana. Hello, and good to see you. Angelica. Let me see. What do we have for today? How are the modules going? Did you guys, were you guys able to finish the modules? For section one. Hello, hello. Can you guys hear me okay? Can everybody hear me? Yes. Everybody? Okay. Yes. Good, good. Hello, hello, Maricela. Welcome. Good evening, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hello, hello. Let me see, I wanted to, I had to use the WhatsApp to communicate and I noticed that Kevin wasn't gonna be here. Kevin, right? Yeah, I don't see Kevin on here. I, Jose Roberto, right, okay, okay. All right, let me see here. And so I'm trying to see if I can, if I have the presentation for the e-sound. Let me see. Let me see if I have it, I have so many. ¿Cómo les ha ido con el trabajo de la plataforma? Has it been moving along? Okay, okay, so 
if you want, what you can do is. I have problems with the 1.8 exit citation. 1.8, yes. 1.8 is giving giving issues. Uh, 1.2, 1.5, and 1.8. Those are still having problems. So hang in there, hang in there with it, hang in there. Let me see here. I'm trying to see if I have the, the exercises for E. Yeah, the one that we were to know about, I'm no one. All right. Let me see. I'm pretty sure I have them. I just, oh my goodness. Besides the problems that we know are happening with with the section one, with module one, do you guys have any questions about any other? That's not a technical issue, yeah? No, all right. I'll take the silence as a no. The thing is with the 1.8 teacher is that I don't know how to resolve because it is based on the class that we uh, saw yesterday. That is the, the, the clauses after B. So in the exercise says that we have to uh, rewrite the sentence into a want. But the thing is that I don't know how to make it. Okay, we can review it. We can review it real quick. That's yeah, I was an example of something like that. And I was watching the video and all of that and I was trying to do it, but it is okay. a bit it's too much. Okay, remember though, remember that there's a problem with 1.8, which no matter what you guys put down, even if it's the good answer, it will still give you a no answer. That's and it will still mark it down as wrong, but I can definitely, we can definitely go into it and I'll show you guys. That makes sense because I try many ways as yeah. possible and always the same. And that was, yeah, yeah, that's, that's, that's the problem that we've been having with that one. Uh, let me go back here. Let me go here. Hello, Madeline. Welcome. Welcome. You missed like the whole week. I've missed you. Uh, good evening, teacher. Good uh, evening, Madeline. Glad for to be for to be in class again. There we go. You missed you missed a few days that that we did a lot of exercises, and we had some tongue twisters that I think you would like. I didn't have the link. I didn't. Uh, I can ask me ask me for the links. Ask me for the links on the WhatsApp. You don't. Okay, I'll give it to you today. I'll give it to you today so that you can send me a message. Okay. Okay. All right. So <clears throat> let me see. So we were working 1.8. Let me see, let me look at it and then let me share with you guys. What I have. And did you guys try putting like the commas and the dots and all that good stuff? Yes. Yeah, all right. Okay, hold on, let me see. I didn't put any comma because I didn't uh, look like it was necessary or something like that. I already put the capital letter and the, uh -huh. and the that point. So you used capital letters and you used commas and you used the dot and that still didn't work. Okay, let me see, let me put them. And so I think I had done a couple of these. 
but we can, let me see. Let's see here, sound. Okay, can you guys, are you guys able to see my screen? Yeah. Yes. Yes, all right, all right, good, 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 guys. One second here. Let me make it a little bit larger here. Okay, so it says, read the following sentences, then combine them to make one single sentence. Remember to use capital letters, which is what uh, Roberto and Alex were saying at the beginning of your sentence and the period at the end. All right, so the first one that I did, and I think I only did a couple of these, I think I only did two, but we can complete them together. So then the original sentence says, I am the youngest in the family, dot, the nice thing is I get a lot of attention, dot. And so we're gonna take this one and what we did is we, we turned it around. We put the nice thing at the, at the beginning and it continues like this. The nice thing about being the youngest, give me one second. It's about being the youngest in the family is that I get a lot of attention. So it erases, I am the youngest and it just, well, I am the, and then it, we just use youngest in the family. So the nice thing about being the youngest in the yeah. family um, is I yeah. get a lot of attention. Yeah. Let me go ahead and put it here so that we can see it. All right, so this was the this one was the one that was giving a little bit of problems the other day too. So let's try to put it here. And that would be like the complete, the trouble with having a younger sister. No, that's, I think that's the, okay, I got the wrong one. Sorry guys, that was number two. Oh God. There it is. Sorry, guys. The, co the computer is a little, it's acting up a little bit. Chair, at the end of the page, it said choose answer. You can push there and you can see the, the wrong answer. So On this one here? Yeah. Oh. Hold on. Yeah, yeah. You can push there. All right, so I don't think we need this one here. Okay. Uh, so. I don't understand when you write about being and the other sentences uh, when you write when having, uh, what is the objective? The, wait, on the, okay, so let's, let's do this one first. Hold on, hold on, madam. So with this one, what they want you to do, and what I can see here is you can take the sentence and literally you flip it, right? You take the last portion of it and you put it at the beginning and then you take some portions of the first part and then you use it to finish. And so the answers, appear like this. The nice thing about being the youngest in the family is that I get a lot of attention. Or you guys can say, the nice thing about being the youngest in the family is I get a lot of attention, but this one doesn't have, it looks like it's the same thing. 
So you can do it either way. The nice thing about being, it looks like it's the same thing. And then for number two, I have a younger sister. The trouble is she's always, she always wants to borrow my clothes. And so the correct answer, the trouble with having a younger sister is that she always wants to borrow my clothes. And then number three and number four. Teacher, in this case, it is possible. And the third one is. What to is say, the topic, teacher? There is, this one is not a topic as per se. This one is a review of knowledge check 1.8 because it was giving problems. So it's not really a topic. It's more like a review of knowledge 1.8. Yes. Okay. Is there in the yep. programs, it's possible to say the night thing of being uh, to put off instead of about in the first ones. Let me see. I I'm away at college. The bad part is that I miss my family. And so the, the correct answer that they're looking for is the bad part of being away is I miss my family. Or you could say the bad part of being away is that I miss my family. Ah, okay, so that's, that's, where, that's what's going on. So you can either say is and then I miss, or you can say is and that. And what did you want to say, uh, Jose? It is in the, the exercise number one, the, in the, that he said the nice things about the ask. The question is if it is possible to put off being instead of about. The nice thing of being away at college. You know what? It wouldn't be. Yeah, you could do it now. Now you have to, the only reason here it comes out wrong, Jose, is because the original sentence doesn't have it. But the answer to your question is yes, you can put it if, for example, it if it was here, if it was in the original sentence, you would be able to use it in the rewriting sentence. So yes, you could use it. Now, in this particular case, you cannot use it because it's not looking for that correct answer. So that's why, but in the real world, you would be able to use it. The nice thing. All right, and then let me see here. And I think those are, I think that's gonna be it. Now here, in order, uh, Rick, you would have to say the, the bad part of being away at college is that, well, yeah, you would have to put that and then you would have to fix missing. The bad part of being away at college is that I would be missing my family. Wow, it would it would really get long. But I mean, you could use it. You would just have to change. Is that? I would miss my family. I think we could do it like that. So college is that. I would miss my family, but then it would. And how do you know when to put up instead of 
uh, about because that was the main problem with me. I didn't put about instead of, and I was putting up. So let's say the nice thing about being the youngest in the family is that, like, for example, that one. Mm -hmm. yeah, I the thing. So, so it was, when do I use about? Yes. And when do you use, what's the other one? Other. Other. No. Uh, Off. Yeah. Like, for example, because in all of them, a lot I of attention. Of being the youngest one, the worst. Like that, right? A lot of attention. All right. So, in these particular exercises, in, in, and so we're gonna use these, let me see, let me, let me try to get them on board. So this one I think is the one that kept giving us, let me try the first one. So as you can see, I, I used one of them, but it gave it to me as wrong. And I think that's what's wrong with it. Let me see here. The bad part. You know, I don't see anything wrong with it. I think this is the error for 1.8. If you guys can tell me, if you guys find a way to get it correct, because what happens is that it stays as being, you see, it keeps telling me that it's, it's bad, even though it is the correct answer. So this is one of the errors, I think, that it's happening in 1.8. All right, so the question, now, for this one, I don't want you to, to think of it as when do I use about or when do I use of? Because if you can see um, by the sentence that's being used, all right, and that would be, let me see, let me try that one. Try that one. Ah, that's it. The bad part, what was going on? I think I was putting something else, no? Well, that is the correct one. All right, all right, so now it's correct. So to answer your question about having to choose between using about versus off, now, in these particular exercises, you don't have to worry about choosing one or the other, because if you can, if, if you can, if you can notice in the sentence itself, you use either about or you use of, but you don't use both in one single sentence. So the easy answer would be if you see in the sentence where it says about then that's what you need to use. If you see in the sentence where you see a lot of attention, for example, where it's being used, then you are also gonna select off when you are writing your sentence, which is, well, no, on the first one, it uses it again. You know what, I'll take that back. Let me see, let me see if I can, let me see if I can kind of review it because I, I didn't see a connection between about and of in any of the sentences. So I was thinking that it was maybe you didn't have to worry about that. But I guess that's the first one that you see here. And then in the number four, you also see it and in number five. So maybe we can get some info on that. 
and we could do like a difference between about and off. All right, so let's let's work on that one. Let's see how we can let's see if we can get something going for that. Okay, uh, for 1.8, let's kind of hold off on that one. And I think the other ones that were giving issues was 1.2, right? These ones I hadn't even done. I hadn't done any of them. Let's see, let's show the answers for these. Were you guys able to complete uh, knowledge 1.2? Or was 1.8 the only one that you guys were having trouble with? Also, right? Okay, let me go ahead and put that on the screen so that you guys can see them. And so it started off with read the dialogues and complete the sentences. If two answers are possible, write both of them separate both answers by using the la pleca or the slash dot remember to use either the gerunds or infinitive or both if possible you can also use the periods and then you have the examples right and then for number one sam isn't happy when he has nothing to do Gary, I know it really bothers him. Sam can't stand having nothing to do or to have nothing to do or having nothing to do and to have nothing or you can say to have nothing to do. So these are the possible correct answers. Try some of those and see if, if they work out. Let me see. Let me try to look for... And I think one point eight was. Rewrite, let me see, rewrite sentences. I can't see anything on here. Teacher, All right, I with what I, I think is the first having nothing to do. Sam can't stand having nothing to do. Did you put that in the answer box and see if it accepts it? Let me see, let me put it. Well, it accepted it. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay, very good. That one did work. Let me see, I'm trying to see if... Hey, teacher. Yeah. I was thinking I uh, only me had been with a problem. No, George. Everybody, everybody has had the everybody had the the issue. The issue too. Okay, thank you. Let me 
see if there was Okay, I found something that provides an explanation of when to use about, of, with, or to. So let me see if I can bring that up. Well, it's not really... Let me see. Going to Paris in the second. You know, it's not, it's not about a rule. Let me show you guys. It's more like, I'm gonna stop sharing. Did you guys, did you guys try to use some of these? Let yes. me put them under. And somebody, yeah. let me see. Jose, why is why in the number four it says learning new languages? Okay, so I think that might be the error. Tom, are you going to take an Italina class this summer? Yes, I am. I love to learn new languages. Ivy is into learning new languages. That's number four. Let's see. So new languages, as it says. Let's try it out. Uh, number three, you visit your parents on the weekends. That's the one that's wrong. This one is wrong. Visiting her parents on the weekend, you can put it like that. But you see how it says to visit her parents of the weekend? That is wrong. So if you guys try to use that, let's, the correct way to do it would be to visit her parents on the weekend. And then that would, it would, that would be accepted. But because it's wrong there, it doesn't accept it once you put it here. But if you guys use visiting her parents on the weekend, that is accepted. Let me see what else. Going rock climbing is also accepted. And volunteering as a children's storyteller. Much easier, right? So there you go. All right, and then that's that's the way. All right, so that, that one is 1.2. Remember that it gives you an error on number three. And then on number four, it is just this part here where it says Italina. I, I think I think it's wrong. Uh, it should be Italian, just Italian, an Italian class. But they 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 mixed it up, so that one is wrong right there. All right, let me stop sharing this one, and then let me show you the the workbook. There it is. Can you guys see the screen? Yeah. Okay, yeah. so now it's not, it's not, you know, I thought it was more like a rule, but I want you to think of it as what is the sentence starting with, right? So let me give you the examples, right? If you are saying something like, well, let, let's use this one here. The best thing then you would use about. 
And so you could say the downside of, and as you guys can see, it starts off and it's using downside. Sorry about that, guys. It's using downside to start off. And then so you have to use of in order for the sentence to make sense. So it's not really about a rule. It's more about how you're starting your sentence. What are you going to start it with? What are you using to introduce? What do you use to introduce? And then based on that, you can either use of, about, to, or with. And these are the only four things that you can choose. About, of, with, or to. Complete the sentences with about, 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 of, with. One difficulty with being the youngest. And then so you could use it in that way. So you just have to kind of think about how the sentence is starting and how you are introducing it so that you have a better idea of using one of the four options. Maybe I can send you, I can send you guys this link so that you guys have a, let me see, I'm gonna take a picture of it. I'm gonna send it into WhatsApp. Yeah, it will be helpful. Let me go ahead and send it. The secret to getting along with your siblings is to have respect their privacy. Their privacy. Yeah, that, I think this. Privacy. I have to take it sideways, so hopefully you guys are able to see it pretty good. Yeah, you, I think you guys are going to be able to see. All right, I sent it to the WhatsApp so that you guys have a better idea. Here it is. You guys can check it out. All right, so we went over 1.2. We went over 1.8, and I believe there was an error also with 1.5 they mentioned. Let's use the same here. And so listen to the other program. They say, which person do you think would be more likely to do these things this weekend? Choose the right answer. And then you go through the line, you go through the questions, and then you answer whether it was Heather or Marcos. And let me see if it gives in. Well, no, it looks like it's working. No, the problem is that if you listen the audio, the first one, it said Heather when the right answer is Marcos because it's the oh, person who is speaking. I see. Where, so it's mixed. Yeah, you can you can try it. You will see. Let's see. I think I put, uh, let me see. Let's, let's listen to it. I want to share. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Where is it? I want to share everything. Here you go. Listen again. Which person do you think would be more likely to do these things this weekend? Check Marcos or Heather. One, Marcos. Well, I guess the biggest change in my life over the last five years is that I got married. You know, I used to be into going out with friends every weekend and staying out late. We were pretty wild and crazy back then. Yeah, you guys are right. That's it. That's the problem. So it says that Marcos is the one that likes to party late. Yeah, that was the problem. Though. Yeah, yeah, there. That's it. Yeah. Oh, cool. So let me go ahead and put that one over here. 1.5. It is mixed. Okay, let me go ahead and, well, I, I had escalated just as having issues with the answers not matching up. So, okay, so that one will give me a little bit more in an explanation. Okay, all right, so hopefully they can fix it. And for those of you guys who keep getting it wrong, uh, well, in this case, just switch it to Heather for the meantime, and then we should be okay. 
All right. Okay, so that I think that's enough for the platform. Oh my goodness, that took all of our time. Now I had I had a presentation for you guys. So I had two presentations for you guys. Uh, one of them focused on the vowels and how we pronounce the e's. And so, just real quick before we go, right? Uh, there's a few sounds that come out of the e. And depending on the word that you choose or depending on the word that you see, there's there's like a, a, a sound that should be coming out. And these are known as short sounds, long sounds. And this one is also known as a long sound. And so let's use some of these words as an example. Let's say short, if you guys are gonna say pet, Okay, real quick, you can't even hear it that much. You just kind of sound it out as quickly as possible. Really sharp, really quick. Pet or bed or a name, right? Like Ned, el Ned Flanders de los Simpsons. Ned, real quick. Okay, now there's the long sounds. With the long sounds, usually what you guys are going to see is that the E's are doubled up. For example, if you guys are using a word like screen. Can you guys hear the sound and how long it is? Screen. Yeah. Now, there is also another sound that you guys are going to hear that it, it creates the same. And I'm gonna use it here because it's an EA sound. This one is also a long sound. And so even though there's an A in there, usually it sounds very much the same as a long double E, like scream. So we have pet, bed, net, we have screen, we have scream, okay? And words ending in EY. What have you guys heard in terms of words ending with EY? Can you guys give me an example? They. Well, the thing is, did you say pay? The thing is that pay is P-A-Y. No. I'm sorry. No, I say they. Oh, 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 let me see. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. Yes, they, <laughs> I'm sorry about that. Yeah. There we go, there we go. So, but this one is actually more of a short sound like that what about b b oh my goodness b is a long e sound i was thinking of trolley like the mean of transportation the commute trolley oh trolley. Yeah. yeah yeah that's it right here Trolley. Now, now the, with trolley, if you can, if you can hear it, you know we have the urge to say trolley, right? Because we see the e y, but it is actually pronounced like trolley. So this one actually, you know what, trolley. You know this one. This one is this one is tricky because the sound. Hey, get on the trolley. It's more like a short. Well, no, yeah, the trolley. I think we can leave it here and it'll still be okay because it's really short. So um, I'm gonna say that this is the best thing that you could, uh, let me see, trolley, sorry, misspelled that. Best way that you could think of it is look at the word, how many E's does it have, right? If it has one E, it's very short. Very short to the point, very, 
snappy. If you see that it has an EY, like they or trolley, it's still very short when you guys are saying it, but the sound is a little bit different, right? They or trolley. However, it's still very sharp, very, very quick. You have the double E's and these, you guys will always kind of sound out with a long screen or a B. You always got to hold it for a minute, right? So it becomes like a long sound. And the same sound you get when you have an E and an A, like when we're using the word scream or ice cream. Well, all right, it's almost the same. Ice cream. It's kind of like a long E sound that you guys will hear. All right, and then I wanted to show you guys, I wanted to start working on some pronunciations for the ED sound, because that is also very hard for us in Latin America. But I think we're gonna start that on Monday. Remember that we have Friday, Saturday, Sunday off, and then we come back on Monday. And I think that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna leave it there for today. I'm sorry, guys, I think we took a lot uh, longer than expected having the issues with Zoom and then having, you know, having to work on the platform. And that pretty much took our presentation time. But I promise you guys that on Mondays we'll cover more on the E words and practice some of those sounds. And we're gonna bring in, we're, we're gonna begin talking about some of the ED sounds as well so that you guys can practice on how to say it. And as you guys can see, we practice the pronunciation for ID, for T and for D. And we also talk about the rules on how to sound it out that way, right? So I have some practice exercises, as you guys can see. Uh, we have some, uh, I think we also have some letters, some words, and we're gonna practice on voicing those and see how we can work out the T, the D, and the ID sound when we are trying to pronounce the ED in general. So, all right, everybody, uh, please remember all the good stuff, right? And forget forget all the bad stuff. And I'll see you guys on Monday. Okay. okay. Thank, Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. Bye. 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 See you. Take care. Nice weekend. Bye -bye. Thank you guys. Take care.